Isaac and the team get an in-depth tour of the GGO football headquarters and everyone is amazed by the incredible and exciting technology on display. After the tour, GGO HQ makes a surprise announcement. The GGO International Challenge Cup charity tournament will be held the next day and Team Barefoot are expected to play against the best teams in the world, including the reigning world champions. Why don't they want to interview us? We're the champions of China, after all. They don't know what they're missing. I've got so much to say. You know the world's watching. Feeling pressured? Pressure is motivation. Welcome to the GGO International Challenge Cup. Let me start by introducing the four teams. First, the defending world champions, Team Samba from Brazil, made up of controllers Demero, Gardo, and Neo. Next are Team Tango from Argentina, with their lead controller, Gonzalez. Last year's world tournament runners-up and this year's European tournament champions are England's Team Lions, with controllers Nelson and Barth. And last are China's national champions, Team Barefoot. Now I'd like to invite Dr. Stan, the R&D director of GGO Football, to say a few words before we begin. Thank you. The crushing demands and tight schedules of the real football games means that human players are being pushed beyond the limits, and injuries have forced many players to retire. That's Dr. Stan, Dad's partner in the development of GGO Football. Technology not only helps create the game of GTO, technology is helping heal the injured. I'm happy to announce that all proceeds from this tournament will be donated to an injured footballer's recovery fund. The opening matches are Brazil's Team Samba versus China's Team Barefoot and Argentina's Team Tango against England's Team Lions. Team Samba, Tango, and Lions are all proven internationally famous teams, but Team Barefoot are little-known caliber team of no consequences. Tell me, why are you even in the tournament? Are you serious? What paper are you from? If you call us low caliber, you don't even know what you're talking about. I'll tell you this right now. Team Barefoot are going to win this tournament undefeated! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Excuse me, but these are the three best teams in the world. What makes you think you'll be able to beat all three of them? It's none of your business, but you'll see soon enough, big guy. I wish he hadn't have done that. Uh, we're under even more pressure now. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Team Barefoot are overestimating themselves. Oh, Carl, your idiocy is truly breathtaking. Still, this will be a great show. Are you serious? What paper are you from? If you call us low caliber, you don't even know what you're talking about. I'll tell you this right now. Team Barefoot is going to win this tournament. Team undefeated. Barefoot are parading are their brash ignorance yet again. I can't wait caliber, to watch them lose. Uncle about. Nelson's team lines will crush them utterly and completely. My dad always says, you can't trust a word you read in the media, and you should always think for yourself. But we'll have the last laugh when we win the tournament, won't we? How dare they call us low caliber? Uh, let it go, they're just ignorant. I think I should write a story about that reporter. All we have to do is play better. Our talent will have to be recognized sooner or later. Are you arguing with me? Don't tell me you're on their side. I'm not, I've got your back. Then don't talk back to me, you big fat gorilla! I'm trying to be nice to you. Stop yelling at me, you little shrimp! <laughs> Way back when, my dad used to stay at home with me, drawing designs, making models, and writing programs. That's when he was happiest, but ever since his research took off, he became stressed. He used to be really energetic and playful, but then he started worrying and spending less and less time with me. Everyone said I was too little to get it, but once I grew up, I... Isaac, these days you're thinking way too much for your own good. You'll need to relax and just enjoy the process. Well, anyway... How do you think this will turn out? Well, we're definitely the weakest team here, and if we don't practice, we're toast. Let's get inside and get to work. Would you stop being so annoying? You two need to be whipped into shape! Uh. Mm. 
Alright, so we're going to be playing Team Samba, the world champions, in our first game. Why are you two watching TV? Get over here right now! We can watch TV and talk at the same time. <laughs> hey, Timmy, that fat guy looks like you. <laughs> yeah, well, the ugly midget looks like you even more. Uh... Wow. Extreme was the tournament's top scorer. He scored 25 goals in seven games. These guys are so strong. Looks like we're in for an exciting ride tomorrow. So what's your plan? How are we going to beat them? We won't be able to go head to head with them on offense, that's for sure. Carl, have Satellite play back to keep a lid on the situation in the first half, and then we'll have him attack in the second half. What do you think? But Satellite's a technical player, and his real strength lies in his fast attack skills, meaning I know he can score. So I say we leave the defending stuff to Titan. Hey, Timmy, Titan will take care of us, right? I trust Titan even more than I trust the power of the hot dog. Okay, but the best way to counter Team Samba is to strengthen our defense line. That's why we need Satellite in the backfield. We need to use his speed to take the pressure off Titan. Got it? No, Sean, you're wrong. Satellite is the best dribbler in the world, and it's a waste to put him on defense. Come on, Isaac. You're the lead controller. You agree with me, right? No, I agree with Sean. Aww. No, wait. Team Samba's goalkeeper only has one arm? What? That's impossible. It's true. He's missing his left arm, but he has no problem making saves. Yeah, right. Even Titan can score a dozen goals against him. Maybe even 20. Come on, guys. We need to be careful. Our instincts will be to shoot at his armless side, but I have a feeling a lot of players have fallen into that trap. The record speaks for itself, and it seems that he can save any shot from any angle. They're world champions, after all. We just can't underestimate them. I say we make Myth so forward and keep Nucleus near the center field, Titan in front of the penalty area, and Satellite floating between them to cover any problems that crop up. That sounds like a plan. All right, let's get practicing. Uh, I'm all practice out and tired from the long day. Yep, I'd say we get to bed early and rest up for tomorrow. Uh, I'm tired as well. I think I'll follow Carl and crush out early. You guys can't be serious. Going to bed at 8 o'clock? If that's the attitude they're taking towards playing the world champions, we're toast. Hey, Cat! Look at the huge group of Barefoot fans I brought to support you today. That's awesome, Howard. Barefoot! Barefoot! barefoot go, go, go! We're really looking forward to playing you guys today. We, we are, are too, too, so let's, so let's make, make it a, a good game. game. Of course it'll be good. We're gonna win. Oh, uh, you said it. Young master, which glass would you like today? I think it would be prudent to use the largest glass, don't you? Of course. That must mean he's really feeling the pressure. We gotta stay on our toes. All right, let's give them a warm Brazilian welcome. Welcome to the opening game of the GTO International Challenge Cup. I'm one of your commentators, King Football. And I'm Lord Football. Today's game sees Team Samba play Team Barefoot. 
Team Samba are, of course, last year's GGO World Champions, and everybody knows them. I'll let you introduce the lesser-known Team Barefoot. Well, they don't have much experience at the international level, and I've seen some footage of their previous games, and I have to say they're not quite at the same level as Team Samba. True, but what they lack in talent and make up for in fighting spirit, their goalkeeper Shadow is also a huge asset for the team, as is Smith their forward. Their other players are just average, though. I mean, look at Satellite. He's quite fast, but nothing special. Are you kidding me? How can they insult him like that? <laughs> well, they've seen a lot of teams. Maybe they're right. And then there's tight in the fullback. He's much like his controller, Timmy. He's got brute strength, but he's slow and prone to the occasional huge mistake. Huh? <laughs> and I'll be watching Satellite closely. Remember that his controller, Carl, declared that Team Barefoot were going to go undefeated in this tournament. We'll soon see if he has the goods to back that statement up. <laughs> Why is this so-called lord against us? It's not fair! Satellite's going to win the world championship for us! And then I'm gonna make that clown eat his words! I don't know, guys. I think he might be right. Come on, Sean! You're our teammate! You're not supposed to attack us! That's the media's job! I think we need to stop messing around and focus on the game. It's gonna start any second now, guys. Time for the coin toss. I'm the coin toss expert! We'll win this for sure! It's Tails! Team Barefoot picks Tails. Team Samba picks Heads. It's Heads. You guys made me lose! You will pay for that! We choose to kick off. Team, Team Barefoot, Barefoot play, play to, to the, the right. right. Carl has never lost a coin toss before. That's not a good omen at all. We'll just have to cheer harder then, won't we? <laughs> sure thing! Go, go, go! Go, go Team Barefoot! Go. Attacking from right to left in yellow is Team Samba. And attacking from left to right in red is Team Barefoot. Sanders' formation is a rhombus check with one forward extreme, two midfielders, synchronizer and freezer, steal their fullback and a goalkeeper twister. And Team Barefoot are using one forward mid, with Satellite acting as wingback, Nucleus as midfielder, Titan as fullback, and Shadow as usual in goal. The GGO International Challenge Cup has officially begun! Wait for them to get close before we start passing the ball. Play cool if you want, but pretty soon you guys will be crying into your headsets. I think you'll need to assess the situation before you speak. We need to be hasty. Go for it, Satellite! Oh, come on! His dribbling is better than we anticipated. I'll get Nucleus to help out. Myth, don't move up too much or they'll get past you. Block steel until Nucleus gets there. Got, Got it! Looks like Barefoot did their homework. They know that Steel is a great dribbler and can get to any point on the field with no problem at all. Don't get me wrong, I'm not worried or anything. All right, Steel, it's time for the Samba formation. What's the Samba formation? What's that formation? I've never heard of it. It's basically that team's signature move. Oh, yeah? Uh-oh, I don't like the sound of that. You should have stayed up and practiced last night. Anyway, their scoring ratio with that move is 100%. Tail Titan! <laughs> The key to the Samba football formation is that once it's activated, the ball never touches the ground. Steel launches the attack, then Freezer, Synchronizer, and Steel pass it back and forth in a triangle formation. 
You guys seem to be forgetting that I'm a champion! You got Titan standing here and nothing can get past him. Where I'm standing, you have two choices. You can shoot or pass. Feel free to do either. Are you sure you want to say that? Take him out, Titan! Hey, what's going on? He fell for it! Extreme just got through! Uh. Looks like it'll be a direct shot from Extreme! I will shadow cover this! Careful, he's got amazing footwork. Watch out for the ball and try to block in any opening you can. Yeah! Ah. 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 Nice! A perfect wall right over Shadow's head and into the goal. It's one nothing. It's game on, everybody! The solve of football formation is an unbeatable attack formation. Extreme is super fast and can quickly convert any opportunity he sees. What a thrill! Team Barefoot hasn't even touched the ball yet. I think this is gonna be a rob. <sighs> that was unbelievable. Where was Titan? He didn't even touch the ball! Well, Satellite should have stopped it. You know, it's all Sean's fault. Why didn't Shadow anticipate that lob? He totally should have saved that kick. You're the one that just announced to the world that we'd be undefeated, start scoring some goals, and then we'll talk about the one that just went in. What are you talking about? We haven't even touched the ball yet. Are you saying that I'm no good or something? Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, you two. It's just one goal, and we're only two minutes into the game. We've been at a disadvantage before, haven't we? Now let's try and get it back. Exactly. I'm glad you believe in me, Isaac. Now pass the ball to me when we kick off and I'll get us back in the game! Don't disappoint me, Team Barefoot. I want this to be a good game. And here comes Team Barefoot! Satellite moves forward with the ball! You better watch out, Team Samba, because dribbling is my forte. Satellite, time for gravity dribble! Gravity dribble! Sanders Extreme and Freezer break satellites gravity dribble like they're taking a toy out of a baby's hands. Samba football formation! Nucleus, we can't afford any mistakes. Use only directional tackle. Timmy, tell Titan to get ready if Nucleus can't stop them. Use Bulldozer tackle and Shadow stay in front of the goal. You got it. Omnidirectional tackle! Looks like Nucleus' big move is no threat to Team Samba football formation at all! Bulldozer tackle! Projectile bouncing strike! Another goal! That makes it 2-0! Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Projectile bouncing strike is a truly a keeper's nemesis. The ball curves suddenly and bounces at the last second, making it almost impossible to save. You couldn't even save that? Are you defective or what? What's going on? Am I so concerned about their tactics that I'm losing sight of the real reason we're here? Fantastic shooting, Extreme. Hey man, this isn't just your show. Synchronizer and Freezer want a shot at some glory as well. Don't worry, there's gonna be tons more chances. One more goal, and we'll shatter that fighting spirit of theirs permanently. Then score all the goals we want. They've cracked gravity dribble, omnidirectional tackle, and bulldozer tackle. I think it's time for roaring frame strike. Hey Sean, how about we use that move I showed you in the war room yesterday? What, you came up with a move last night? We've got no time to waste. Let's kick off! Young master, you must stay calm. Team Barefoot's great strength is its unity. If you lose control, Barefoot will be in danger of losing this match. Watch this! Myth not just the ball to Nucleus! Oh, so you're annoying Satellite now, are you? Well, that's just great. I think it's because we went to bed early last night. Let's see what new move they've come up with. Get Satellite back on defense and tell him to stop standing around in midfield. Team Barefoot have changed tactics. Looks like Nucleus is working with Myth on an attack. But will two be enough? Nucleus, it's time! Omnidirectional tackle! <laughs> <laughs> Nucleus, cover Myth so we can take the shot! All right, Myth, go for it! Roaring flame strike! Yeah. 
only saw this move when we studied Team Barefoot last night. It's powerful, but the angle is no big deal. All right, Twister, it's showtime for you. Spinning save! <laughs> No way! He just stopped roaring flame strike! Beautiful save, Twister! You turned 180 degrees in just 0.17 of a second this time! Awesome! That's your fastest time yet! Steal! Counterattack before they move to the fun! <laughs> Fraser pulls away from satellite and passes the ball to Synchronizer! He makes a long pass to Titan's blind spot in the penalty area! And the race is on! Titan, you've got to get that ball! Extreme gets it! And look at the power of that hitter! Shutter punches and gets his fingertips on the ball. It's enough to hit it out, but what an amazing shot that was. No! Uh, uh. Uh. Wow! The ball hits satellite, and it bounces into the goal. It's now 3-0. Talk about embarrassing. <laughs> Twister is Team Sanders' goalkeeper. For reasons unknown, he lost an arm, and it looks certain he was never going to play again. But his controller, Gardo, patiently retrained him, and now he has faster reflexes than any other player. And his spinning save move is practically unbeatable. Despite his handicap, Twister is one of the top goalkeepers in the world.